While much of the cycling world's attention is focused on Europe, Dookie, just on the outskirts of Shepparton in northeast Victoria, was playing host to the 2011 Oceana Cycling Championships. The weather was perfect for the start of the elite women's time trial, with a strong field including world championship representatives Bridie O'Donnell, Alexis Rhodes and Ruth Corset. Rhodes, Corset and O'Donnell all set competitive times on the 28.4 kilometre course, but it was 23-year-old Sarah Gillow who took out the title by an impressive 52 seconds ahead of O'Donnell. Uh, it was a pretty tough field. You've got Bridie O'Donnell, Alexis Rhodes and Ruth Corset. Uh, were you confident coming into today? Um, yeah, I sort of um, have been, I've been doing some really good training, so um, I've been confident that I've been doing actually Pacific TT training which I hadn't ever really done this much Pacific TT training before so I was very very happy with my result today. And what was the tactics going in today um, you know was it just to maintain a steady pace the whole way or you know what what were your plans coming into it? Um, well to go as fast as I could possibly go and yeah I think I um, have a few I'm still learning lots with time trialing and positioning and shrugging and getting out of the wind, keeping still on the bike, but um, yeah, hopefully I can yeah, get better and better. In the elite men's time trial over 41.2 kilometres, David Pell was an almost unbackable pre-race favourite, but a puncture in the early stages of the race against the clock opened up the door for William Dickinson, who claimed his maiden Oceana title. Will Dickinson, Oceana champion for the time trial, he must be pretty wrapped with the result, mate. Yeah, yeah, really happy with that. I've sort of had half an eye on this race for a few months now and, and uh, yeah, trained up pretty good for it. So, yeah, it's all worked out perfect. A few people said the course was relatively flat, but then others have said, well, even the slightest hill when you're in the hurt bag can really make a difference. Yeah, well, definitely. Like, I mean, you, you're buzzing along on the flats doing sort of 50 plus and then you, you hit a climb and it makes a massive difference if you can hold more speed over it. If, you, if you're going, you can hold some speed over it. but. If you get bogged down, then you, you lose big time on just a little stretch of road. So it was definitely important to, to punch it over them. In the elite women's road race, 64 riders fronted up to the 116 kilometres with reigning Commonwealth Games champion Rochelle Gilmore and recently crowned national champion Alexis Rhodes among the women to watch. Early in the race, Shara Gillow and Peter Mullins broke away and established a one minute lead. But the bunch came back together with a lap to go and it was the time trial champion Gillow who powered away again to claim her second Oceana title for the weekend. Shara, you won the time trial, now the road race must be an unbelievable feeling. Yeah, um, it's a pretty awesome feeling actually. Um, it's still, I don't think it's sunken in. Um, the time trial was an awesome, I was very, very happy with my ride, um, first in that and um, yeah, the time trial felt really fast and I think today um, I got away in the first part of the race and was sort of time trialling but I had a very good sprinter with me so I wasn't allowed to work, um, which was a bit disappointing and then, yeah, paid off in the end. Do you think the confidence you got from the time trial win actually worked in your advantage today? Yeah, well I felt strong, um, uh, as I said in that first break, but then um, coming back to the peloton I was sort of struggling and my legs of course from being away were a little bit tired. Um, but yeah, just I just try to be as, as aggressive as I can and my teammates were absolutely awesome. We are trying to counter attack and continually um, sort of yeah, put the others on, on the back leg that were, that were trying to work to bring us back all the time. In the 162.4 kilometre men's race, the pace was hot early with many riders looking to get away from the sprinters in the peloton. Among the early attackers, Patrick Lane and Jason Grigg tried their luck, but the peloton didn't give them enough leeway to establish a significant lead. Towards the end of a race, a decisive move was made with a group of seven riders, including Richard Lang and Jayco Australian Institute of Sport teammate Damien Housen. The group quickly built up a lead of two minutes coming into the final stages of the race. Then on the final journey into town, with a group of three doing battle for the sprint finish, it was Lang who had the required horsepower to win with enough in hand to begin his celebrations as he crossed the line. 
But as Lang is an under-23 rider, he claimed that title and the elite category was taken out by Ryan Obst. Uh, yeah, it was quite tough heading out, out towards uh, out of Dookie and yeah, it, was, uh, it was tough going into the wind, but as soon as we came across the crosswinds and uh, we had the tailwind, it was really yeah, quite smooth and it was a lot easier and yeah, I felt happy with the uh, yeah, we're not going against the wind. <laughs> and just one last question, um, what are your plans for the rest of the year? Uh, I haven't really looked into that yet. I've got a, a few uh, tours that I be, might be uh, heading over and uh, trying or you know, there's always the chance of getting over to Europe and experiencing some of the racing over there. But for now, it's just uh, sticking in Australia and uh, doing the NRS and a few Adelaide local races.